Hello all, in this particular video, we will be learning about adders and subtractors. So this is your fourth experiment in part B. So in part B, we have digital electronic circuits part. So in this part, this is your first experiment, your adders and subtractors. So in adders, so what do you mean by adders? See adders is adding two numbers, okay, any electronic circuit which is able to add two numbers, we call it as an adder circuit. So this is the aim of the experiment, design and implement half adder and full adder using basic gates and logic tables. Okay. So first, uh, before uh, we construct the circuit diagram, we would like to know what is half adder circuit is. Half adder circuit is an electronic circuit, which is able to add two bit numbers. So two bit numbers means either it, it can be possible combinations of 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0 and 1, 1. Okay. So now my next question is how to add two bit numbers. Let's see how to add two bit numbers. Addition of two bits generate two things. So the input will be A and B that is two bits. The output will be sum and carry. So Let's go with one step. So 0 plus 0, the sum is 0 and you have carry as 0. 0 plus 1 is sum is 1 and carry as 0. Next 1 0, 1 plus 0 is sum is 1 and carry is 0. 1 plus 1, the sum is 0 and carry is 1. So this is the addition of 2 bit numbers. So if you must observe, this is my first step writing my truth table. Okay. After writing the truth table, I will go for my circuit diagram. So what is the equation which is uh, obtained by sum and what is the equation which is obtained by carry? See sum, if you observe where you have one here, we, we have two ones here. At this one, what is the value of A and B? At this point, it is A bar B. At this point, it is A and B bar, which I'll be writing it as a sum equation. Sum is equal to A bar B plus A B bar, which I can write it as A X or B. Next, in carry equation, see where 1 is present or high. It is high. The circuit is high. So it is A B. So your carry will be A B. If you observe these two equations, here it is A X or B carry is A B. It means that you require one XOR gate and one AND gate for your multiplication. So your circuit looks very simple. First is I will be writing A B that is I will be using XOR operations. My XOR gate is 7486. The output will be A X or B. What is my carry that is A and B. From here only, I will be taking another input to my AND gate that is A. From here it is B. So the output will be AB. So your whole output will be SUM and CARRY. That is A X or B and AB. Now coming to your pin numbers. So your XOR gate starts from these are my input pin numbers that is 1 and 2. The output will be 3. Next your AND gate it can be 4, 5, the output will be 6 or you can take it as 1, 2 and 3 also. So this is all about your XOR, uh, this is all about your half adder circuit. Now going to your full adder, see full adder is a circuit which can add more than 2 bit numbers. So here I have taken inputs as A, B and C as my inputs which will generate two outputs that is sum and carry. Let's go step one by one. First I will be taking C. This C column can be taken this side also. It's not mandatory to write it here only. So here what is zero plus zero? My uh, sum is zero and carry is zero. So here it will be generating zero plus zero is sum is zero. Again that zero will be added with C that is zero plus zero is sum is 0, carry is 0. Next, 0 plus 0, 
my sum is 0, that 0 plus 1 is sum is 1 and carry is 0. Next, 0 plus 1 is 1, sum is 1, 1 plus 0, again the sum is 1 and carry is 0. Next, 0 plus 1 is 1, 1 plus 1 is 1 plus 1 is 0, sum is 0 and carry is 1. So if you do like this, so this is the possible combinations like I, I, I have written like from 0 to, so this is from 0 to 7. So binary representation of 0 is 0, 0, 0. Okay. So till 7 that is 1, 1, 1. I have added and I have generated sum as well as carry. What is the next step? The next step is easy. You need to write the equation for sum and equation for carry. So how to write the equation? You will observe wherever the ones are present. Now here in sum, here my first one is present. So what is the value of a, b and c here? It is a bar, b bar, c. Okay. So I have written it here. a bar, b bar, c. My second value. What is my second value? It is a bar, b, c bar. Here I have written a bar, b, c bar. Okay. It must be a bar, uh, b, c bar. Oh, it is uh, second a bar, b and c bar. My third one is here. So what is the value associated with third one? It is a, b bar, c bar. So it is a, b bar and c bar. My fourth one in sum that is a, b and c. Okay. So now how to reduce this equation? If I want to reduce this equation, so I will be taking a bar as common. So the remaining term will be b bar c plus b c bar plus here again a as common. Remaining term will be b bar c bar plus b c. b c b bar c plus b c bar. I can write it as b x or c. b bar c bar plus b c. I can write it as b x or c whole bar or b x nor c. Okay. Now I will be considering your b x or c as x so that this whole equation I can write it as a bar x plus a x bar. So a bar x plus a x bar can be written as a x or x. So by replacing the value of x here it will be become a x or what is the value of x it is b x or c. So this is your equation for sum. Let's go with the carry part now. So here I have my 1. So what is the value for this particular part? It is a bar b c. So I have written a bar b c. Next I have here my value will be a b bar c. So a b bar c. So next all the three terms will be replaced here. Okay, so by reducing that it will be become, so you will be getting the answer BC plus AC plus AB. As soon as I get the two equations sum and carry, it is easy for me to generate the circuit. So what is the equation for A XOR B, uh, uh, the sum part it is A XOR B XOR C. I will be writing your A XOR B, the output of this will be XOR with C. Your, so that your sum circuit is done. Next, what is your uh, carry part? It is BC plus AC plus AB. So I will be taking BC, okay, BC plus AB plus AC. So adding all these things will be generating your carry. So this is all about your full adder circuit. Now, Coming to part, uh, so uh, I think you have understood the name, uh, pin, how to write your pin numbers for this. It is 1, 2 and 3. If you could recall with the previous video of basic logic gates, I have explained you how to write your pin numbers. So those who have not understood, please go with the previous video and try to understand how to number your logic circuit. Okay. So now 
coming back to your subtractor so this is your subtractor circuit so we have to generate two things one is your half subtractor and another one is your full subtractor coming to your half subtractor circuit so subtraction of two numbers two bit numbers i'll be calling it as half subtractor so full subtractor means sub, uh, subtracting more than two bits two bit numbers i'll be calling it as full subtractor please observe the truth table of your half subtractor circuit how to subtract two numbers so my inputs are a and b the output will be difference and borrow in your adder circuit it is sum and carry whereas in your subtractor circuit it is difference and borrow 0 minus 0 that is my first case i am taking 0 minus 0 my difference will be 0 and borrow will be 0 0 minus 1 so if you subtract 0 uh, 1 from 0 your difference will be 1 and borrow you will be 0 1 minus 0 the difference will be 1 and borrow will be 0 1 minus 1 the difference will be 0 and borrow will also be 0 so now I have to generate two things one is the equation for different circuit and the equation for borrow circuit it's very simple so wherever the ones are present you will be taking the values of a and b so here I am having one so what is the corresponding value here I have a bar b next here I have a b bar so my difference equation will be a bar b plus a b bar which is nothing but your a x or b coming back to borrow here my value is a bar b so i'll write it as it is a bar b if you are able to write two equations construction of circuits becomes very much simple what is my difference circuit the equation it is a x or b so i'll be writing a x or b first which is the difference circuit I'll be using 7486IC. Next, I have A bar B as my answer for borrow. From here, I'll be taking a NOT gate which generates A bar. With this, I'll be multiplying B so that it generates A bar B which is nothing but your borrow circuit. So the ICs which I'm using here is one is XOR gate, one NOT gate and one AND gate. IC number for XOR gate is 7486, NOT gate is 7404 and AND gate is 7408. The pin numbers goes like this. 1, 2 are my input pins, 3 is my output pin. See for NOT gate we have single input and single output that is input pin is 1, output pin is 2. For this AND gate the input will be 1, 2 and the output will be 3. So this is all about your half adder circuit, half subtractor circuit. Let's go with the concept of full subtractor. Here I have taken three, three bit numbers that is from 0 to 7 or so. So it is very simple here. So subtraction of three bit numbers. Let's see how do we subtract, uh, subtract this. 0 minus 0 it generates difference of 0 and borrow is 0 again so first I'll be writing borrow as 0 again 0 minus 0 my difference is 0 borrow will be 0 so there is no update with respect to your 0 difference and borrow let's go with the second case 0 minus 0 I have my difference 0 and borrow as 0 first case next 0 minus 1 so my difference is 1 my borrow will be 1 i hope so you have understood how you we have updated this particular value my i'll be repeating it again 0 minus 0 my difference was 0 and borrow was 0 again 0 minus 1 my difference will has become 1 and borrow has become 1 next if you apply for remaining all these things, we'll be getting the value of difference and borrow as follows. 
After writing the truth table, it is easy for us to write the equation. So how to write the equation? I have to consider all the values of A, B, C where your output value of difference and borrow is 1. If we consider this particular value where you have your first one, what is the corresponding value of A, B and C? It is A bar, B bar, C. So this is my first value A bar, B bar, C. Next I have A bar, B, C bar. Here I am having A bar, B, C bar. Next here I am having A, B bar, C. A, B bar, C bar. A, B bar, it must be C bar. Next I am having A, B, C. A, B, C. So this can be reduced as if I take A bar as common. So the remaining term will be B bar, C plus B, C bar plus if I take A as common in these two terms, so it will be A into B bar C bar plus B C. So this can be uh, written as A. So it will become uh, B bar C plus B C bar can be written as B X or C. This will be B X nor C. So if I reduce that, it will be become A X or B X or C. Similarly, I will be reducing your borrow circuit. So borrow will be here I have one. What is the corresponding value? It is A bar B bar C. Here I am having A bar B bar C. Next I am having one here. So what is the corresponding value of A B C? It is A bar B C bar. It is A bar B C bar. Next similarly I have written all the rest of the values. If I reduce that, if I take A bar as common, I will be getting B bar C, B X or C plus B C. So which I can write it as A, A bar B plus A bar C plus B C. So now if you could uh, write down this particular equation, it is easy for us to complete the draw the circuit. So coming to the circuit, we have uh, the difference part as A X or B X or C. So first I will be writing A X or B. The output I will be XORing with C so that my output value is A X or B X or C. Next I will be constructing the circuit for A bar B, A bar C and B C. So I will be adding all those terms. So here First, I will be generating your A bar B. So, here I have taken A bar B. Next, I have A bar C and B C. So, this is my A bar C. This is my A bar C. And this is my B C. I will be adding all these product values with your OR gate here. So, I will be adding these two terms which I will be adding with this particular term. So, your output will be a bar B plus B C bar plus C B bar. Okay. So this is your borrow term. If you could observe your what are all the gates which are involved here. I have used uh, two XOR gate that is 7486 and uh, AND gates that is 7408 OR gates and NOT gate. So this is all about your full subtractor. So totally in this experiment, we have studied the concept of adders and subtractors. So in adders, we have both half adder and full adder. So in subtractors, we have half subtractors and full subtractors. So this is all about this particular experiment. The construction of the digital circuit will be explained in the next video. I thank all these students who have prepared this wonderful chart for extending their support for making this video. Thank you.